It's Reveille. Welcome to August. Time to start thinking about school starting in just a few weeks. Parents, do you know what's going on in your child's school? Have you attended a school board meeting lately? Hopefully you are familiar with the newest buzzwords like social emotional learning and equity. They seem to be the only words that matter anymore and they're transforming education into a social experiment with your children as the guinea pigs. Education is now more about making excuses for educational attainment than making sure every child is learning at grade level. Children get multiple attempts to turn in assignments now and can turn them in late and still receive full credit. And if no work is turned at all, well, new grading standards give them 50% credit anyway. Schools are creating bad habits for our next generation of leaders. Another concern is the new standards for comprehensive sex ed that were adopted by the Illinois State Board of Education. It's good news that over half the school districts have decided not to teach those new standards. Any teacher that would stand in front of a class and teach minors about choosing your gender identity, masturbation, and anal sex isn't teaching, they're grooming. So every school should reject the new standards. By the way, no community is free from the progressive agenda. In January of this year, two district teachers filed a complaint to have the book Gender Queer removed from the school libraries in the wheaton Warrenville School District. The teachers called the book indecent, vulgar, and lewd. Disregarding the teacher's professional opinion, two weeks ago, that school board voted to keep the vulgar and graphic novel on the shelves. Meanwhile, statewide, only 30% of the kids read or do math at grade level. In Wheaton, less than half the kids are at grade level. We are failing our kids. I'm Jeannie Ives. Join a parent group or form your own to hold your own school board accountable. To find out more, visit Breakthrough-Ideas.com. That's Breakthrough-Ideas.com.